Hi there. Today I'll be tearing down Maxim's Pocket I.O. The Pocket I.O. is a demonstration, teaching, and prototyping platform aimed at the development of industrial control systems. So think building automation, robotic control, vending dispensing, ATM cash machines, um, fuel pumps, and earth moving equipment. As you can see, there are no cooling fans, which means it's very efficient, and it uses many of Maxim's advanced industrial products. This is an ultra compact platform in a footprint of less than 10 cubic inches, measuring 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches by 0.8 inches. In terms of programming, it uses an open source toolchain based on Intel Edison's Eclipse IDE or the Arduino Sketch IDE. Both Wi Fi and USB connections are available, and it's capable of both iPhone and iPad control. This device is composed of advanced industrial products, all rated to withstand minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 125 degrees Celsius, and leverages robust, safe, and fast DMAG technology. This design integrates a total of 30 IOs consisting of six key blocks. The first block is an analog IO block. It has four analog inputs, one analog output, and digital isolation. The digital IO block has eight digital inputs and eight digital outputs. There's a robust communication block. It includes two RS-485 ports and three encoder and motor control ports. There's an IO link block, which has four IO link masters, a motion control block that has three incremental encoders and three DC motor drivers. And finally, there's an industrial power block. It has one isolated DC to DC butt converter and three 60 volt high efficiency DC to DC butt converters. So this is a two board solution. And on this board, there are a variety of LEDs. On the top here, there are LEDs for the digital input, uh, the digital output, encoder, motion control, uh, IO link, and over here are auxiliary USB LEDs and uh, Edison LEDs. And there are others uh, placed throughout this board. This screen power connector is the input power dedicated for the DC to DC motor controllers. Each motor control has a peak motor current of 2.5 amps. Now, as you can see on the boards here, there are four surface mount connectors per each board that attach the two boards together. The Intel Edison processor here, this is where the control program runs. The, uh, the header connectors over here, these attach to a separate connector board using a cable assembly. Over on this side, there are two micro USB connectors, a Wi-Fi mode switch, and up here is a 24 volt power connector, and it is rated at 5 amps. The analog I.O. block provides four channels of analog input, leveraging Maxim's MAX11254, which is a 24 bit analog to digital converter. It operates from either a single 2.7 volt to 3.6 volt analog supply, or split plus and minus 1.8 volt analog supplies, allowing the analog input to be sampled below ground. Communications occur with a SPI serial interface. This IC is shown in a thin QFN package, which measures 5 by 5 millimeters. Also included in the analog block is the MAX5216, which is a single channel 16-bit DAC. It has a low power consumption of 80 microamps, a wide supply range from 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts, and a rail-to-rail -rail buffered output operation. These two ICs provide digital isolation within the analog I.O. block, serving as protection for the analog ports in high voltage environments. These two parts come in ultra compact 16 pin QSOPs. The MAX14850 provides up to 600 volts of protection, while the MAX14130 protects up to 1000 volts. We'll now look at the 8-channel digital output block that uses the MAX14913. This new part implements a safe DMAG feature that can discharge and demagnetize any inductive load safely via its integrated clamps. 
It also provides inline diagnostics per channel to detect open and short circuit load lines, as well as both over voltage and over temperature conditions. This part is capable of either high side or push pull switching on all eight of its integrated 640 milliamp output drivers. It has a fast propagation delay of less than one microsecond and has an ultra low RDS on of 110 milliohms typical. Also included in this digital block is the MAX 31913, which has eight channels of high voltage input channels, up to 36 volts. It also has an on-ship 8 to 1 serialization with SPI interface, as well as a 5 volt regulator and an over temperature indicator. Robust communications is achieved using Maxim's RS485 MAX14783 and their dual UART MAX3109. The MAX14783 is an 8-pin thin DFN with an operation temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. And the MAX3109 is a 32-pin QFN package measuring 5 by 5 millimeters. The IO link block has four MAX14824 IO Link Master transceivers. These are 24 pin thin QFN packages with integrated 5 volt and 3.3 volt linear regulators and have extensive fault monitoring and protection. The motion control block has three incremental encoder receivers, which are the MAX14890. Each IC contains four differential receivers and two single ended receivers. These ICs come in a 32-pin thin QFN package and are highly flexible to support all encoder types. They also have integrated fault detection, which reduces downtime, as well as integrated protection, including a plus and minus 40-volt fault protection range, a plus and minus 20-volt RS422 common mode range, and a plus and minus 25-volt kilovolt human body model ESD. Also included in the motion control block are three DC motor driver ICs, which are the MAX14870. These motor drivers are used for driving and controlling brushed DC motors and relays with voltages between 4.5 volts and 36 volts. They have very low driver on resistance, which reduces power dissipation. These DC motor drivers work together with the aforementioned MAX14890 encoders to create the control motor drive capability. The MAX14870 shown is a 12-pin thin DFN. The industrial power block includes three MAX17502s, which are step-down DC-to-DC synchronous converters. These are ultra-small and high-efficient and have an input voltage range from 4 volts to 60 volts. They have a low quiescent current of 22 microamps and are shown in a 10-pin thin DFN package measuring 3 by 2 millimeters. Also in the industrial power block is the MAX17681, which is an isolated DC to DC buck converter, which provides isolated power up to 3 watts. It has an input voltage range from 4.5 volts to 42 volts and uses primary side feedback to regulate the output voltage. This IC comes in a 10 pin thin DFN package. For more information on this Pocket IO, please visit Maxim's website at maximintegrated.com.